Hi guys, big bike time, Ducati Multistrad 1200. I've been riding it for a little while now, very agile and have to do an up to date video of me riding. What are we talking about today? Well, oil filter time. This bike says you must use Shell Advanced. As on the sticker, I'll be using. I told you this would come in handy, didn't I? I've done what, three or four bikes and cars now? Very little tools needed. Allen keys get off for the sump tub just in case let's look at the bike shall we is a beautiful bike very very agile and I'll be doing a service on this straight after very very easy to do servicing really I say servicing plugs are not so easy plugs on this are going to be a lot harder but I'm doing the oil and oil filter today but it really is simple and save you a hundred quid cut the valent keys I was told that it had an oil change, but um, well, when you look through the bike, you sort of see that it was really, really dirty. So I wasn't believing that it had an oil change. Now, you may notice coffee. I mean, that's really scary, that is. I mean, I've been checking this. And if it's thick with coffee, sometimes you think your head gasket's gone. But not in this case. Literally left outside, did a one mile journey to paper shop about four times in October, November, December time, and left it. So you can get this coffee colour on your bike. It does not mean your head gasket's gone. Okay, carrying on. I don't like using ratchets, you know, when it comes to Allen keys. Um, I think these are so much easier. Little. And there we go clean it up while we're at it. How old does that look? Come on, that's not been recently done, has it? But let's look at my kit in action. Must be the VN. That must be the VN filter. And this one must be this one, it's quite big. Nice little flow. I reckon that's a win-win there. Just lucky, because all over the place. So it wasn't a 903, so we'll try 904 and so on. And there we go, we have a winner, 9.03. Okay, they did make it a little more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. This side also has to come off, and then this screw has to come out of the nut as well to drop it down. Look at that filter. That has been on there a very long time. Most certainly could do with um, an oil change. Hello dog, why are you in every shot, eh? She wants to be a film star sometime, I think. Don't you? Always admit I'm working. Right, short include, get on with it. What? Cup of tea. Look at that. There we go. So, why did I do this first? Well, it was no sense from Jane Yorley if I couldn't get the filter off. And even though a huge array of them, you're just never sure really, are you? So, I now know that I can get that off. Now let's find a sump plug. I think it's there. So let's get a socket and uh, take that off. Italian design, centre stand covers the bolt. We take the centre stand off, it still covers the bolt. It's that whole stand off to do it. So it looks like you could see what I couldn't. It wasn't a socket, <laughs> it was another Allen key. Quite nice, wasn't it? No specs there. Look at that gloopy crap. That's not very nice at all, is it? Do I take that off? I mean, I could take the whole side panel off to clean the oil shit out. Maybe I should have uh, used some sort of flushing agent. I mean, good quality oil is what I'm after at the present minute. A little bit of crap and that won't hurt. Quick preview of my son there. Right, so it's still draining. And now all you do is reverse the filters on. And you just put everything back on again. Make sure it's nice and tight, remember. There's a lot of vibration these bikes have. So make sure they are nice and tight Allen keys. There you go. And then put this one back on. But you know what, I'll clean it before I put that back on. Let's have a look at the filter. Nice clean filter. Yeah, it hasn't got Ducati in it, but tell me how old that one was. Haven't been done in a while. That is some black oil. I'm gonna pop the sump plug back in and make sure every bit of oil is out. And remember what I said before, 
fill it up to the lines, go for a ride, and then double check. And that's pretty much it. So I'll get on with putting the panels back, putting this on. You check out my videos. There's a one on this already, a look round, and there's been another one coming very soon where I'm gonna actually ride it and show you all about the bike. It's very agile, well worth watching. It's not like a BMW that's got big bulkiness. This is so light to ride, a lot of power, but pros and cons coming up soon. Meanwhile, I've still got YBR to finish and an SR to finish as well. So watch them videos, watch all my other ones, like and subscribe and cheers.